I'm Mitch Hank with a look at tenure at the UW. Now, tenure has been there for decades to protect ideas. You didn't want somebody to write something that was out of favor with the body politic at the university or the state and to be canned because they have controversial opinions. After all, it's where the framers of the Constitution gave us the First Amendment to protect unpopular opinion, not popular opinion. You don't want our professors, people in the arena of ideas, just kissing butt all the time. Then you have to ask yourself how they get tenure in the first place. Chances are they're pretty orthodox, but still. You can fire somebody now on tenure, but you have to have a paper trail, uh, it has to be malfeasance, or maybe a financial emergency, and even then there's a review board to process hearings and reviews. They want to change it to where you can change the program, eliminate a position because you've changed direction, or do it because of a budget issue. Well, Rebecca Blank, the uh, the chancellor is overwhelmingly opposed, along with the faculty senate. They want the legislature to change that in the budget. You don't want people canned because of controversial beliefs or writings. That you don't want. On the other hand, you don't want somebody that's dead weight, somebody that's incompetent, being on the payroll forever. In fact, I have a friend who was a professor of some stature at the University of Wisconsin, is retired now. He said there was a guy that wouldn't do a project. He kept telling me, I need this, I need this. He never had it done, so finally after the fourth time, he said at a meeting, you're fired. He said, well, you can't fire me. I've been here too long. Well, he found out he's right, he couldn't fire him, so at least he made him have an office in the hallway. He did that. Now, you, gotta, you can fire somebody, but you have a paper trail. You have to have a reason, and those people's rights are protected. Uh, I think we have to be careful of uh, is changing something we've had for decades. Uh, because then you do open the door to firing somebody for the wrong reason. An analogy, K through 12, I know a basketball coach in a rural Wisconsin town that won several state championships. He coached in the grade, or in the high school, but he taught in the grade school. Every time there'd be an opening in the high school to teach there, he'd apply, he'd be rejected. The school board would vote no because a grandson or a son didn't get enough playing time. No, you don't want that at the University of Wisconsin, my two cents. My two minutes are brought to you by Edge Construction and Capital Consultants, Bill McCoshin, a lobbyist who gets things done downtown. Go Capital Consultants. And I'll see you next time on 92.1 FM tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock.